So what about more photos? You can do four photos, six photos of the same size um, using the contact sheet method on a four by six to print. So let's, I'll show you that by using my templates that I've already made and we can look at the properties on the right side. So for four photos, you can pick four photos and I like to separate them with some a little bit of separation, white, white lines in between. So the properties of four photo collage is obviously the page grid is two by two rows and two columns. And then this and then the photo size, the height is one point nine six inches and the width is two point nine six inches because we wanted to put some cell, cell spacing of white lines in between the photos of 0 0.08 inches. You can play around with how thick you want the lines to be. If you want it smaller, you can put 0 0.05 on both, and that's what it would look like. And obviously, the same method applies where you drag your photo around to make sure that what you want printed is inside the allotted amount of space. And that's it for four photos. Now, if you want to have a white border around the photos, all you have to do is add margins to what we just did. So I added a 0.08 inch margin on all four sides. And that gives you a border all white border all the way around the four photos as well as the middle, which is the cell spacing. So now I'll show you how to do six photos. I'll select two more photos. So now I, I've selected six out of um, my selection of photos on the film strip. And first we'll do no, no borders. Um, this is one of my saved templates, but I'll show you um, the, the settings on the right. So this one doesn't have any margins, so no borders on the outside. Page grid, it's two rows and three columns, obviously, to make the six photos. And each photo is two by two. So you can either print it out and slip it in a four by six um, pocket, or you can print it out and trim it to two by two inch photos to use elsewhere. Now if you want borders, you can add, now not the borders, the spacing in between um, the photos, just add some cell spacing. So in this case I have 0 0.06 inch both ver vertically and horizontally. If you want also to add some margin outside the photo, you can just add 0 .6, 0 0.06 inches around it as well. And now you have a white border around the photo plus a white grid in between the photos to um, to make it look more divided if that's the look you like. So one other thing I wanted to show you is you can actually use the same method to print out one photo, one 4 by 6 photo, if you want a white border around it. So what you would do is you would just pick one photo and then I clicked on one of my presets that I already saved, but the settings would be single image contact sheet, and then zoom to fill, and then I have a stroke border of a point, point two points of a stroke border, white border. You can change the color of your border here, but I always keep it at white. And then the page grid obviously is only one row and one column because it's only one photo. 
And then for the cell size, I made it 3.75 inches by 5.75 inches. That way, there's a, about a point, eight, an eighth of an inch border all the way around the photo, a white border that, um, that this template allows you to print. So you don't have to do anything else to add a white border. You can, again, drag the photo around if it's not exactly that same aspect ratio so that it shows the amount of photo you want. And the beauty of this is you can pick any photo that you want to print and it'll immediately have that white border that, um, if you like that look.